Hello everyone. Greetings to you all in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I believe you're doing good. And I believe that uh, last week you have seen the hand of God work in your life. And I believe that God has been gracious. His hand uh, always provided all your needs. And you have seen God literally work in your life. And this is how we believe in God and this is how we trust in God. And this is how a believer who claims to worship Jesus should do. Always be there to, to believe in Him. And when we believe in Him, you know, many times uh, our faith wavers. And uh, we claim to have faith, but the way we live, the way uh, we do things in our life, when somebody else looks at it, it looks that we do not have faith and those who don't know me this is Evans Francis from Nagpur India I'm an evangelist into full-time ministry from last 12 years and I believe this uh, prophetic time is going to bless you and uh, this prophetic time is going to touch your life and it is going to speak to you as you know the title of today's message is faith is needed before the miracle and uh, I believe that uh, today's message is uh, going to bless you today's message is going to transform you and uh, it will bring you more closer to god and uh, if you are watching me for the first time welcome it doesn't matter whether you're watching me uh, live or in rebroadcast wherever you're watching me whatever time you're watching me maybe you're watching me a couple of years later but remember that god is same yesterday today and forever he cannot be limited by time so if you're watching me I believe that God is going to speak to you and God is going to touch your life and uh, I believe in today's message God is going to move in your situation whatever situation you're going through whatever uh, crisis you're going through I believe that as you are uh, you are attending this prophetic time from different places through internet we are we are connected people know us and people are coming to uh, you know become more closer to God I believe that this message is going to transform you and uh, you can click on you can turn on the notification and you can even subscribe uh, to the channel so that whenever I come online whenever a video is been uploaded you will get a notification so before we start let us pray father in the name of Jesus we come to thy presence and Lord, I give these people into thy hands, their lives into thy hands, Master. I cancel all the plans of devil, Master, or no distractions, Master. The seed which has been sown, let it bear fruit, Master, not 30, but 60, but 100 in their life. Lord, you're doing it for that. I thank you. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. So, if you're watching me, uh, just need your small help, just to share this video. And you will get uh, an option to share in groups so share in all the groups and all the uh, all your friends will come to know about it and you do not know that a soul can be won through just a share so my motive is not that people should come to know me but my motive is people should be blessed and this message is going to touch them as I was preparing this message it has blessed me and I believe this this simple message is going to bless you Many times in our life when we go through when we go through problems and uh, uh, when we go through uh, temptation, when we go through sickness, when we go through hard times, you know, the, it, the most important thing which God looks at our life is faith. And many times in our Christian walk, we lack faith. We say that we have faith and we say that, you know, my faith is in God but everything we do through our actions through our character through our attitude it it is totally opposite and you know before we see a miracle that is the time when we have to show faith in our life when when we see the life of Abraham he he was not a father he was not having any child but when he heard the voice of God he showed faith and left his house 
that is called faith that without seeing anything you do it because you heard the voice of god because you believe that god will do it for you and that type of faith god is looking in you and me when you see shadrak meshak and abednego they are, they are one of the uh, the people i love to read and meditate because even though they were in front of fire and they had the boldness they trusted in god and they had the faith that yes the god can can deliver them but they have said something that even though if it didn't still we will not bow down to you and that is the faith we need to have you and i need to have look at the life of daniel he knew that if he will not compromise he will be thrown into the den of lions knowing that you know the the consequence is very hard the 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 punishment was severe he knows that he will be killed but still you know he chose to put faith in living god and when he did that you you know what god has done for him many times you are not seeing the hand of god work in your life because you are not having faith it is very easy to quote scriptures it is very easy to say i believe in jesus it is very easy and you think that because you believe in jesus you are going to church you are doing something for the lord you have faith no faith is totally different faith is totally different and many times it is like we need to believe without seeing anything that is what happens like i receive so many calls you know where people say uh, when they receive a prophetic word when they receive a message which i share they they tell me on my face that i don't need all these things because god is not doing anything in my life god is not doing this 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 things in my life and i just ask a simple question to them that did god tell you that he is going to do it is your expectation god is not going to do what you want him to do god will do what is best for you so if you're thinking that why god is not doing this why god is not doing that and if because god is not doing this because god is not doing that i don't want to worship him then you are coming to god for your selfish needs and you are worse than a pagan because we don't believe in jesus just because that he should come and solve our issues we believe in jesus because he died buried and rose again he left his throne and became man for you and me and died for you so so th- that is how your and my faith should be that whatever situation may be in front of us whatever the challenges will be in front of us all we have to do is trust in him all we have to do is believe in him even though it cost our life remember job that even though he was struggling a lot he was sick people were coming his own wife came and said curse your god but he said even though he slays me i will not leave him even never he opened his mouth against god because he knew that god is in control we as believers we know the scriptures we know that he's never going to leave us never going to abandon us but still what we do a simple small wrong thing happens we blame it upon god every wrong thing happen because of your and my wrong decisions we take we put it upon god instead of accepting that it was my mistake many times we put all the wrong things happened in our life put upon god or we we put it upon the devil but instead of uh, using an excuse instead of uh, doing these things and putting using a life lifestyle of excuses when we learn to accept our own mistakes that is the time when god bless you that is the time when god changes your changes your situation and that is very important beloved whatever situation you are going through i believe that this is the end to your situation this is the end to the to the time where you are struggling this is the end of the time where you you there will be no more pain in your life there will be no more struggles in your life remember 
uh, no more pain doesn't mean forever but there will be struggles these are the things which 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 are the parcel comes with life but you will see the hand of God work in your life the moment the moment you give yourself in God's hand the moment you say Lord it is not I but you live in me Lord from today onwards not my will but yours will be done and when we live with that type of attitude mark my words that your situation is bound to change though if it is not changing because there's somewhere you are becoming an obstruction sin is becoming an obstruction and when because of that you are not seeing the hand of God work in your life my wife and I we see so many miracles in our life that even we cannot tell it publicly because people will not believe it but I tell you that because we chose to trust God instead of telling our needs to people instead of telling our are the struggles to people we chose to give everything in God's hand and that is why when people look at our life they will never understand the struggles we go and they will see that oh what a wonderful life they're having but remember that each and everything we have in our life it is through God no man can get the glory from out of our life because it is God who has brought us together it is God who has joined us together it is God who is using us for his work we are two people full of gray shades we have a past we have done wrong things in our life but if God is using us it is not because I am better than you or she is better than you it if God is using us it is because we understood that through we cannot do anything on our own we need him and when we submitted our life completely in his hand he is using us so it doesn't matter what is your past, doesn't matter how you lived your life till now, but if today you give your life in God's hand and you will say, Lord, it not me anymore, no more eyes, now it is us. And when you do that, you will see the hand of God work in your life. You will see the hand of God change your situation. Remember that Roman officer, when we read Matthew 8, chapter 8 chapter 5 to 13 there we can see that when I'll read when Jesus returned a Roman officer came and pleaded with him Jesus said I will come and heal him but the officer said Lord I'm not worthy to have you come into my house just say the word from where you are and my servant will be healed when Jesus heard this he was amazed turning to those who were following him he said I tell you the truth I haven't seen faith like this in all the Israel here a man who knew what authority is all about you know many times we know that you know our God is in control he is the omnipotent God he is an omnipresent God but the way we live our life is like you know that God doesn't exist but remember that with the moment we give our life in God's hand, the moment we know that he is the God ultimately has the last word. If he says yes, that's it. Many times in our life when we go through situations, when we go through trials, when we go through hard times, when we go through a time where we think how these things are going to happen and that time when we understand that it is not I, it is not you it is not my parents it is not my community but it is God he has the authority so instead of taking your issues to people instead of taking your situation to people when we take the situation to the throne of God and when we tell God Lord you cancel this case what I'm going through you cancel the situation you work in the situation and when we put show that faith in him instead of coming to God instead of praying coming on your knees if you just go to visit 10 churches or you listen to some people okay if that pastor prays you're going to be delivered or when you go there nothing has happened then somebody will say if you go to that pastor you will be done if that work will be done then again you go to that pastor still nothing is done and at the end you go 
eight to ten pastors nothing has done then you come on your knees that is not what God wants from you but when you have a situation instead of going to man when you come on your knees and say Lord I need you he is enough our God is enough he's a living God you don't need man for everything but if God has chosen a man to deliver you he will bring that man in your life. He will bring that person in your life. But you don't have to live like a pagan. You don't have to live like an idol worshiper who goes to places to places thinking that if I go there, I will get the blessing. If I go there, I will be delivered. We worship a living God. So in our character, in our attitude, it should be seen that when we go through issues we come on our knees and we fight our own battles because nobody on this earth will fight for your battles 24 7 365 days so you need to equip yourself and when you do that you will see that you know that the hand of god has made you empowered you here a roman even though he was a pagan he knew that if jesus will say just one word it is done and because of his faith you know Jesus said that he hasn't seen the faith like this in all Israel so that's the type of faith God wants does your faith in God allow you to believe that his word will do what it says many times we know that scripture says ask and shall be given unto you seek and you'll find now can the door shall be opened but many times when we are asking God at the same time, we are using our intellectual brain also. And that's why many times we don't see the hand of God work in our life, in our situation. When we read Mark chapter 5 verses 25 to 34, there we can see the woman with an issue of blood. Remember, this is another a very powerful story. An incident happened. This woman struggled to go through pressing through the crowd and she had a faith that even if she will just touch the robe of Jesus, a hem of his, gar his garment, she will be healed. Even though she didn't and Jesus to touch her, she didn't had faith that, okay, God, if God, Jesus will touch my head and pray and anoint, it is done. No, she said, if I just touch if you have that type of faith in him that lord i do not want you to come and touch me just you say a word but just through your presence that's it that type of faith god is looking after you god is looking in you that is what faith is all about many times when when i go and preach i always tell people do not wait for me to come down and lay my hands on you. Then only you will be healed. Then only you will be delivered. Remember, the one who is in me is greater than this world and he is there. So that's how when, when people have been delivered, when people have been healed, the God gets the glory. Remember, a sign of a true prophet of God, a sign of a true servant of God is this. That whatever he do, whatever he say, whatever the way he lives, through everything, Christ will be glorified. If you're listening to any prophet of God, any servant of God, anybody, and when you look at that person, if you look at the meeting, if the preacher is being proclaimed, if he is being, like, you know, praised more than God, then remember that is not the work of the Holy Spirit. But anywhere you see that Christ has been glorified, that is the place, that is the area, that is the person who is walking after God. Do you have the faith like this woman? She had the issue of blood, lost everything. And she has the right even to say that I don't want God because he is unfair to me. She was suffering this situation for years. For years. But she still had the faith that if I touch, many of us, we are just like Israelites when, when situations become rough in our life, when we go through a situation when we 
just have one problem then once it is solved we see another problem and we say it is better not to worship this god because problems are coming it was better to be an idol worshiper no problems because devil is feeding you with everything you need because he knows that one day you're going to hell and then there is no escape that's his motive that's what devil said to, to Jesus after 40 days of fast that everything in this world the wealth of this world belongs to me I can give you so that's why when you see that people who are doing wrong people who are living in sin people who are not going to church they're not living a life as Bible is saying and they have been blessed they have house they have car they have bank balance and somebody who is walking in the precepts of God who is walking as the word of God is asking they are just struggling it's because those who are going on the way to hell devil is already blessing them because he doesn't want them to 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 repent and understand oh they are wrong but they are being manipulated and they think it is the blessing of God. But one day will come, they will understand it is not the blessing of God. It was the blessing that devil was giving them to take them to hell. That's why it is very important that we examine ourselves. It is very important that we search ourselves, that what we are doing, how we are doing, is it according to the word of God? Is God is in it? Even if you get one million dollar and win that one million dollar, if Christ is not there, it is worthless. But instead of that, even if you get 10,000 rupees, even if you get 1,000 rupees, if Christ has blessed that, that is worth more than millions. Remember the Gentile woman when we read Matthew 15, 21 to 28, there we can see a woman. Her daughter had an issue and she even if she knew that the Jewish culture prohibited Jews from mingling with with the Gentiles most especially to women Jesus still spoke with her you know even though his disciples were telling him to tell her to go she was kept on she was kept on speaking, arguing and telling him to heal her daughter. And remember that that is the attitude you and I need to have. And because she kept on having faith in Jesus, when Jesus said to her that, you know, that, that the food from the children thrown into the dogs, it, it is not right. When somebody calls you a dog, how many of you will go in the same church? Tell me. If your pastor calls you a dog, will you go to the same church? But here Jesus, the Israelites, they used to call these people as dogs. But she knew that, yes, she was a dog in front of that, but she kept on the faith in Jesus. And because of that phase, Jesus granted her request. That is how you and I need to have. That's the faith you and I need to have. Doesn't matter what people call you. Doesn't matter what situation call you. Today, your situation is calling you a widow. Today, your situation is calling you a divorcee. Today, your situation is calling you a man under loans. You may be full of debts over your life. Today your situation may be calling you a prostitute. Today your situation may be calling you a gigolo or maybe a homo. But I tell you, if you allow God to work in your life, if you allow the Holy Spirit to work in your life, as God, Jesus granted the request of this woman and healed her daughter, God is enough. He's going to change your situation. Whatever situation you're going through, all you have to do is give yourself in God's hand. And when you do that, you will see the hand of God work in your life. You will see the hand of God transform your situation. Whatever situation is in your life where you are ashamed, God is going to remove that shameful situation and make you in a position. God is going to turn your bitterness and turn it into sweet 
is a God who can turn any situation. All you have to do is believe in Him. All you have to do is trust in Him. There was a time when I was struggling like anything. I was struggling like, uh, like, like I can't put it in words. Then one day God said to me, leave your own house. I was not married. I said, Lord, how will I leave my own family? What people will think of me? What society will think of me? But God said to me that you have to leave your house. If you don't leave your house, you will never marry. And when I heard that, I said, Lord, I, I will be obedient to you. And I didn't leave my house for marriage, but I left my house, own house before marriage because God asked me. And because of that, nobody could understand in my own family. My mother cried like anything. And it caused pain to a lot of people, a lot of people. But in six months, I got married. Long story short, I'm saying this. I tell you that when God asks you to do something or when you understand to do something for the Lord, I tell you that, that it will be very hard. It was not only hard for me, it was very hard for my wife also. She had to sacrifice her own life, family, profession. But when God told her to do something, she did it. Even though it was not been understood by our family, even though it was not understood by the people who claim to be Christians. But when we hold it on to what God has told us to do, in the right time everything happened, in the right way. But only somebody with the, the true spirit of God within them will understand what has happened. But I tell you something, that is the faith my wife and I, we showed in God. Without seeing anything, without knowing anything. I, I never knew how things will go, how things will happen. But because we had a faith that yes, if God has said it too, we have to do it. And I tell you that when we did it, a lot of problems came, a lot of situations came. But when we trusted in God, all things worked out together for good. It is not that I, I'm not a preacher, I will preach, I will practice and then I will preach. I know it is hard. I see a lot of people, I see a lot of people, they commit for the ministry and they will say, we will do this, we will do that. And then when the, they will do it for one month, second month, third month, when, when the devil start to become, bring an obstruction, when the devil brings some situation and they will put their needs above their commitment. And that is what happens, you know, that they started to struggle. It is because of their disobedience. It is because of their unbelief, their family suffer. That is why when people come in, uh, in my life and when they will, they say that we are, we will do this, we will do that. I will say, don't say all those things because when you say this, you are, you are bound. Yeah, and if you don't do it, you will see the hand of God coming against you because you are not keeping your word. Your yes should be yes, your no should be no. But when the, that during that hard time, during that hard time, when you give your everything, when you sacrifice your everything, remember that, uh, that Sarafat's widow, you know, she had just one time food left for her and for her son. But when she's given everything, God took care of her, her family, her relatives throughout famine. That is the God you and I serve. But I tell you, the secret is that when you go through hard time, when you go through situation, and when you feel in your spirit you need to do something, and when you don't do it, just because of your situation, you see, remember, you are just losing an opportunity. And when you are losing a season in your life. And when you don't do it many times, that, that blessings go to someone else. So I'm not, I'm not saying this because I'm asking you to bless me, give me money. I'm not saying in that sense. 
but I'm telling you what I'm feeling in my spirit. You need to show faith. Bible says whether we eat or drink, we should do it for the glorification of God. Then if eating and drinking can glorify God, how much important is your marriage? How much important is your education? How much important is your professional life? How much important is your finance? Everything should glorify God. Remember, uh, when I made the commitment that every Thursday I will be coming live, it is not easy. It is not at all easy. And uh, uh, because we need to prepare, we need to take time. A lot of things I can do right now, but it is the commitment I give to God. That's the thing that when we say, yes, I do, we, we should die for that. And that is what God respects. And that is why, you know, that God gave a certificate about Job. He is the man. God told about David, a man after my own heart. He gave the certificate. Today I ask you a question, what certificate God will give for you? What type of man or what type of woman you are in front of God? Not only about finance, but what type of uh, husband you are, what type of wife you are, what type of kids you are. So it is time that we examine ourselves and I believe that this message has blessed you. I believe this message is going to change, bring change in your life. Remember, we all have gray shades, we all have our problems, we all have the, the hard times in our life. But remember, a boat in which Jesus is there, that boat can never sink. That boat will never sink. All you have to do is believe in Him. All you have to do is trust in Him. Let us all close our eyes and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to thy presence. I give this people into thy hands, their lives into thy hands, Master. Lord, I do not know the situation, but you know the situation. For that, I thank you, Abba. Lord, I bless their lives, Master. I give every situation which they are going through into their life, Master. Right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I speak clarity over the decisions they have to take in their life, Master. Lord, you're doing it for that. I thank you, Master. Lord, I doing it. You are doing it for that. I thank you, Master. Lord, people who are who are waiting and putting their trust into your hands about praying about their future marriage, I give it into the hands, Master. May the right people locate them in their life, Master. May the wrong people brought by devil be removed from their life in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, you're working for that. I thank you. Holy Spirit, you're working for that. I thank you. All the distractions from the devil, which is working against their education, against their professional life, I cancel it in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, you're working for that. I thank you. Lord, I speak to that sickness, that sickness in the bone. I command it in the name of Jesus to leave their bodies right now in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, you're working for that. I thank you. Holy Spirit, you're working for that. I thank you. Lord, all the struggles in the marital life, every struggles, all the, all the uh, confusion about their marital life, which has been brought by devil over their life, that fear of getting married or getting married, that fear how things will be done. Lord, I cancel it in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, you're doing it for that. I thank you. Holy Spirit, you're doing it for that. I thank you. I can see two names. I can see two names God is showing me. One is Safira or Sapphire, S-A-P-H-I-R-E something. And second is Manasseh. And uh, you both are not from India for sure. And I feel in my spirit that you're watching me in two places, but God is going to connect you supernaturally. And uh, God is going to use you for the end time ministry. And every work you're doing in hiding, God is going to increase you and God is going to bless you. Remember that nothing is impossible for God. I can see a name Jennifer. You're watching me from Andhra. Uh, you are in your teenage and you're going through issues in your relationships. The Spirit of the Lord says that 
the daughter i have a great and better plan for you what you are you deserve is more and better than what you desire so give your give your life into my hand give your give your decisions into my hand and god is going to bless you god is going to transform you and he is going to make your messed up life into a blessing says the lord trust in him trust in him i can feel that god is healing some people you having back issues you have issues in your in your spinal cord but right now in the name of jesus i command that spine in the name of jesus be healed and i believe that holy you can feel warmth over your spinal cord and i believe that lord is healing some people just claim it just claim it because god is healing many of you you are watching you cannot sit for 15 minutes you can't even sit for 10 minutes if suddenly you will have pain in your back but holy spirit is healing you right now just receive it i can see somebody watching me you have a heart condition and doctor has told you to go under surgery but the spirit of god saying that he is healing you right now as you are watching me that holy spirit is performing the 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 surgery on your heart right now just receive it just do it uh, the have faith don't wait for the miracle to happen to show just don't be like thomas after miracle is done it's the testimony to be shared but before miracle happens you need to have faith faith turns into testimony and i believe that god is changing god is working miracle marriages are going to happen this year for many of you who are watching me and the right people they are going to be a shift that wrong people that lord is going to remove the wrong people's wrong connections wrong love affairs wrong relationships god is going to remove the wrong people and he is going to bring the right people into your life the process will be hard the process will be painful but i tell you why god is doing this because the body of christ is becoming a black spot on the on the name of christ that's why that god is doing these things because people they don't have any any burden they don't do anything thinking whatever they are doing it is impacting the body of christ that's why the hand of god is going to be heavy and a time is coming that as jesus cleaned that uh, uh, that temple full of uh, people who are selling he made a whip same thing is going to happen in many of the people's life but remember be loyal be honest be true in what you do in front of god because he is looking at you father once again i give this people into thy hands their lives into thy hands master bless them master let there be no lack in their bonds provide all their needs according to your riches and glory lord i speak good salary jobs over their life in the name of jesus i speak miracle marriages over their life in the name of jesus i pray lord may the hand of god be upon them may the favor of god be upon them master fill them with your heavenly wisdom and knowledge master all the plans of devil i cancel it in the name of jesus i give all their financial spiritual social mental emotional blessings into thy hands master bless them master Lord, you're doing it for that. I thank you. You increase, we decrease through our life. Let alone your name be glorified. Help us to become a person you desire us to be through our life, through our character. Christ be seen. Lord, you're doing it for that. I thank you. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. I believe this uh, message has blessed you, and uh, keep me and my wife in your prayers. And uh, I believe that. Uh, God has blessed you with this message and uh, if you're watching me for the first time you can download my application it is available on Google Play Store and App Store just type events Francis you can you will get my app it is free and you can share your prayer request and if the Lord leads you become a pillar of fire or a pillar of cloud of our small ministry we need you it is not one man show and uh, I believe that uh, God will speak to you and uh, so join me next week same day same time 
if uh, I am in the same city, I am in Nagpur, surely I will be coming live. And uh, I believe this message has blessed you. Don't forget to leave your feedback uh, in the comment section. Uh, and do uh, and do let me know from which place you're watching and uh, you can subscribe to our youtube channel also i believe this message has blessed you and uh, this message has uh, has transformed you and uh, this is the time when not me not us but christ should be glorified so it's on glory and honor to god that he is giving us the strength uh, he is opening the ways so if you need us feel free to call us 24 7 we are there to to pray for you to guide you and if you're watching in nagpur just uh, uh, we are available in nagpur also so get get in touch and may god bless you may his face shine upon you shalom